So one night in Burr Island, he got down on one knee to stutter the words, would you marry me? He told Kiri he would cover all of the costs, when in reality, it was all paid for by his boss. <laughs> I asked Kiri, why did you say yes? Is it because he's tall, dark, or his quick one-word answers? She replied, I've got no idea, I was plastered. And so finally, it was a wedding to plan and a budget in place. Jimmy told Kiri, and she laughed in his face. So if you've made it here today, you must think you've got your golden ticket. So when they come round and ask for donations, just tell them to stick it. So it's Mike down and my time to go. Jimmy, I couldn't be prouder of my little big bro. Jimmy and Kiri, it now gives me the greatest pleasure and privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. Kerry, wow, you look so beautiful today. You've always astounded me with everything you've done throughout the world. And I have, to, I have to say, it would be hard to find a kinder, more loving, more caring individual. And we're so proud of the woman you've met. But so please, can we raise our glasses to the happy couple, to my daughter and my son, Kiri and Jimmy. Kerry calls him that because his surname is Brandon. They met in a nightclub. She ignored him for a year. Texting him back with one word answers, Jimmy started to fear. Jimmy was persistent. He messaged her on Facebook. It might not be romantic, but she'll get out to second it. He messaged, don't get the trots on the photo. She posted it on Red She found it funny and messaged back. Now, isn't that delightful? <laughs> <laughs>